your noodles. I am here with a Derna, a random sneeze snake I found in the ocean, and a random head attached to a hatchet. <sighs> Draining report. Restraining order. <laughs> A restraining order on Bright. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thou shalt not enter voice calls with me in the <laughs> in my <laughs> server. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, if you look at stream chat, I posted a picture of the SP we're talking about. Like uh The thing in the recording live streams, PC. Yeah. Come on, Discord. Discord. <laughs> you okay, Hatchet? Ah, oh, Father Prime. Yeah, anyway. Might as well just go ahead and read it. And Wait, is, is that 2032? Yeah, yeah, 2032. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be Just clipped. Dead. I Just love that. <laughs> dead silence. And then... <laughs> I'm sorry, Sherry. Also, I forgot to say my opening words. Um, tomorrow, starting from noon till midnight, is my best of 2022 apology video because I'm still working on FSO apology and uh, not best of 2022. So, if you would like to see it, it'll be premiered on YouTube, and I'll be there the entire time chatting and all that. Mm. So yeah. We now let's get into the SCP stuff. I have to make sure to smuggle the penguin in so that they can actually finally hear my um uh, the change link story. <laughs> anyway. SCP twenty thirty two, also known as Father Time. SCP-2032 appears to be an elderly man of Middle Eastern origin. His true age and ancestry are not currently known. Although plausible records would indicate connection to the redacted... Uh, uh, so, ...caliphate circa redacted CE. Although SCP-2032 has an apparent inhuman long longevity... His physical and mental health are estimated to have begun deteriorating with a several decades prior to, co to coming into Foundation custody. Wait a minute. Haven't we already placed this? No, we haven't, because remember the stream crashed? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. The stream lines went down. <laughs> then yeah, go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. It's fine. SCP-2032 is currently receiving daily treatment for moderate Alzheimer's and mild dementia, along with physical therapy for arthritis. SCP-2032 is now under, also undergoing speech therapy following a stroke. This poor old man. <laughs> this the is the life that never ends. <laughs> The main anomalous quality of SB-2032 is that his memory directly affects the general public's historical recollection. As SB-2032's memory begins to fade, numerous branching opinions on historical events consisting of conflicted accounts or other inaccurate information appear. This loss goes so far as to directly alter historical text as well. SB-2032 has written several journals to keep his memory accurate. There is a theorized safe sound from the reality altering effects of SCP 2032's memory for any documents or persons within three meters of them. Additionally, as time passes and the event becomes less current, it is considered to have reached SCP 2032's long term memory in which the public may not be informed, but scholars and, 
and historians are. When information passes from this stage of memorization, it is, it is considered lost. Following the discovery of the safe zone within SCP-2032's presence, newspapers and other information are placed in a containment cell until they can more appropriately or, until they can be more appropriately archived. A team of foundation archivists now works daily to write down SCP-2032's recollections, starting with the farthest memories. The journals in which these events are kept are locked in a safe as inside SP-2032 cell to prevent the loss of this information. The general global opinion and knowledge of recent world events re creates new memories for SP-2032. These recollections have been described to researchers as hazy at best, requiring outside information for accurate, accurate clarity. While an event is happening yet not understood, mostly being specula speculation, or rumors, SC-2032 li likens it to recalling a dream. SC-2032 will gradually gain more clarity around this event, causing knowledge to become public. Despite the impact on his mental health, SC-2032's knowledge of an event is not what causes the public reaction, as more cultural factors affect the private understanding collective areas have of an event, the psychological reaction on SP-2032 becomes apparent. SP-2032 is on a daily regimen of medication to ward off the ongoing symptoms of his mental deterioration. At the current rate of deterioration, it is predicted that in redacted years, all written history prior to 685 CE will be lost. Ongoing research is currently underway on how to slow this degradation and if possible reverse it. Requests to utilize SP-500 have been denied due to the likelihood of reversing the amnestics used to remove traumatic events from SP-2032's memory. In the time following his stroke, numerous protests and conspiracy theories became widely spread among the public until SP-2032's condition stabilized. The hypothetical effects of, of any further potential damage to SCP-2032's memory could lead to a theoretical CY class global government destabilization scenario, including a loss of all written, written and remembered accounts of human history. Despite the con continual deterioration of its mental state, SCP-2032 does not seem to age on a cellular level. Through DNA testing, it has been confirmed that SCP-2032 does not suffer from telomere shortening and has not visibly aged in the decades since his initial containment. It has been pr proven theoretically uh, probable that SCP-2032 has reached the oldest biological age already and will not continue to age further. It has been discovered manipulating the memory of SCP-2032 will alter the knowledge of events for the public, but cannot alter the actual series of events. All facts are changed to what SP-2032 remembered. Anything that happened to contradict these facts, still happened yet, cannot be acknowledged by humans. Following critical containment failures, SP-2032 is given selective amnestics and implanted with false memories to skew the public re recollection of events. All 05 order historical alterations are written with a pub copy of documentation of the original events locked in a safe kept in SB-2032's vicinity. In case it is ever deemed appropriate to revert the changes, any staff personnel found to implant false information into SB-2032's mind will be interrogated as to the purpose of their alteration and subsequently terminated. Let's see. Sorry, my phone is still loading. That, that's uh, okay. Uh, the log of SP 2332's initial interview follows. Interviewed, redacted. Henceforth, SP 2032. Interviewer, Dr. Lucan. For a word, subject contained 
uh, all right, subject contacted Foundation personnel claiming to be an anomaly. After asking redacted authorities for protection, after considerable testing to verify his claims, the interview was approved. Dr. Lucan, Mr. Redacted, if you can recall, how and when did your abilities initially manifest? 2032. Abilities, eh, the memories, the memories were always perfect. Always all records matched what I recalled. The Caliph, Redacted, asked me personally to be his historian. Bastard could not remember which wife warmed his bed each night. This was long ago, yes. I don't know the date. Me never. I do not remember it. Still, my mind is strong and will remain strong and shallow. I was overjoyed, yes. I could have anything in the East I desired. I could say anything I wished. Bastard Caliph would not even know, but I was honest all throughout. Dr. Lucan, please focus on the details pertaining to your abilities. 2032. I cannot remember my birth. What man can? At some point, the memories begin to stick and you cannot forget. A man comes to your house, demands tribute, and your father refuses. He beats him with a stick. Your father complains to the sheriff, and the bastard does nothing. No one cares about these things, but still you remember them more clearly than you remember important things. At some point, the memories always stick. Dr. Lucan, and what made you desire to contact the Foundation? 2032. Bastard men. Snakes, a lot of them. Sharply dressed and clean-shaven, they came to me one day. They asked me to work for them. I refused, politely, of course. And they tripled their offer, as if money the money was all that mattered. I noticed them following me for days after. Sometimes one man, sometimes many, sticking to me like shadows. Dr. Lucan, so you came to the Foundation of Press Asylum? 2032. God willing, yes, I can think of worse fates. Okay. Initial log of tests to determine the scope of SCP-2032's abilities follow. Test. SCP-2032 is, is asked at length about several historical battles he claims to have participated in. Effects. All information provided proves to be accurate without exception, even so far as the position of the constellations during the night. Remarks. While SP-2032 may struggle to recall these details, he is exceedingly correct. His physical condition and accounts of the battles are deemed enough to verify his claims. SCP test. SCP-2032 is given selective anesthetics to test the scope of his ability to alter the recollect recollection of events and other uh, and others possess. Uh, effects. All personnel who are not in the testing room forgot the events in question. Remarks. SCP-2032's abilities are confirmed to have a limited safe zone. Test. SCP-2032 is given a minor selective amnestic to forget the battle of redacted. Effects. All documents portraying the events of the battle, save for those contained in a safe immediately near SCP-2032, are in their blank. Historians questioned about the battle claim no such skirmish ever happened, matching those details. Remarks. SCP-2032's memory appears to be a direct master copy of history. Whenever he forgets something, it is effectively erased. And there you go. Who was that? Um, I'd say world changing. Like, this guy forgetting everything won't destroy all of humanity, but it will alter all of humanity going forward. Okay. <laughs> I just see Bookrun's message. I, I just realized it's very appropriate for today that Father Time is being talked about. Maybe that's why the tech issues happened, lol. Uh, uh, 
So everyone thinking world changing. Yeah. And happy New Year, everybody. Oh, is it already twelve yeah. o'clock where Bright is? Technically not, but we're really close to it, and I'll oh. I'll forget otherwise. Fair. Also, this is the best picture I can get for this next SCP, so, um, you might not like what it looks like. Oh! Why this so funny? <laughs> she gives the crazy eyes. Yeah. All right. Everyone ready for next one? Sure. Yeah. All right. SCP-2034. Tucson's Delusion. SCP-2034. Huh? Uh... Mind spelling out the name or yeah, oh hey child. Uh sure. It is T U S S A U D and posh for yes. I think that's Madame Tussauds. Oh. What was that? Patrick, what was that? You it was hard to hear what you said. Sorry, my dad came in. Um uh, I think that's Madame Tussauds. Is that how that's pronounced? Oh, uh, Tussaud, Tussauds Tussaud. Delusion. Yeah. All right. SCP-2034 is a phenomenon in which a number of individuals cease to be perceived as living beings by digital media such as photographs and video recordings. Affected individuals are instead depicted as an inanimate object, puppet, or dummy. To be labeled SCP-2034-A, it is unknown whether SCP-2034's effects are sensory or mimetic, as instances of SCP-2034-A are not identified by sight alone. It is unknown when SCP-2034 was first discovered as redacted, previously unrelated, or misappropriated occurrences have been ascribed to SCP-2034 after the fact. The first live instances of SCP-2034-A confirmed took place on redacted, with security footage of a hall at site redacted, depicted an animated mannequin moving jerkily across the frame. The time and location indicated Dr. Redacted Blair to have been pass passing through the, the hall at this time. Dr. Blair apparently had no knowledge of SP-2034's effects. Right. Further instances of SP-2034-A began to come to the attention of the Foundation, either as they were discovered or ascribed after the fact predominantly involving celebrities and or public officials. Additionally, instances of SP-2034-A continue to be positively identified through photographs and video recordings, including footage dated as far back as 1900. Incident 34-1 at, at some point between Redacted and Redacted, actor Redacted, Redacted who had previously positively Confirmed as an instance of SCP-2034-A, ceased to display the effects of SCP-2034. All photo slash video footage of the actor depicted a non-anomalous redacted. Redacted were previously the image of a ventricul ventriculist dummy. Was identified. An interview conducted with Mr. Redacted yielding nothing anomalous either to individuals on the scene or in security footage taken during the interview. 
Following the incident, previously confirmed instances of SV2034-A were reviewed again by Foundation personnel. Of the review photographs and video footage, 45% no longer displayed the effects of SCP-2034. Additionally, new instances of SP-2034-A were discovered in previously disqualified footage. Due to the lack of information regarding SP-2034's effects, it is unknown if individuals previously affected can be affected once again, or if certain individuals' effects are permanent. As such, a listing of confirmed instances of sp 2034 34-A is restricted to personnel assigned to SCP-2034 only. Addendum. After redacted years of monitoring, a rough timeline of SCP-2034's effects have been established. Of those observed, all but one have experienced a cessation of scp 2034s effects over a period of four to redacted years. The sole remaining case is that of British actress uh, Tobritza Pemberton. Those words continue Spell to... Spell that? Uh, T-O-B-R-I-T-Z-A. Hi, Chew. Yeah. Anyway, whose works continue to display the effects of SV-2034, MTF Epsilon-89 began to notice a sharp increase in online searches for uh, Pemberton, Toby Pemberton Wooden, and Vintage Dummy Actress, as well as torrents of Miss Pemberton's surviving films, all displaying the effects of SV-2034. Due to the lack of change and in the anomaly, the Foundation launched a concerted effort to seize all surviving physical copies of Miss Pemberton's films and suppress all information of Pemberton. Beginning on Redacted, Foundation agents began to infiltrate British governmental agencies to remove all records and references. Uh, uh, yeah, it to uh, Pemberton. Other records were altered to remove or otherwise reappropriate references to Pemberton to female ancestors of picked Foundation agents. Surviving friends and family members were administered varying classes of amnestics, removing all memories of Miss Pemberton's occupation. Family photo albums and home videos were briefly confiscated to allow for uh, man manipulated duplicates to replace the originals. Attempts to track and delete digital copies of Miss Pemberton's films were generally ineffective, necess necessitating action to discredit the supposed authenticity of the films still in circulation. Foundation agents have taken over seeding turns of the films under new titles and including fictitious introductory credits attributing the voices of Miss Pemberton's characters to lesser known voice actresses. As of 2014, the number of turns bearing the fictitious names outnumbered the original turns by redacted percent. And that's it. Uh, I would say this goes in either reclassify, spoot, or what the fuck. Yeah, this just turns you into a puppet in video and photograph. It doesn't really yeah, hurt like it, you. It, it, it doesn't affect you, you anything. You say that, either. but technically, doesn't it hurt your career? I mean, it could, but like, it, it like on the scale of things an SCP could do to you, damaging your acting career is probably like basically the stubbed toe. That's in the fair. List of things. That's also, fair. Also, if you think. Also, if you think about it, though, aren't you, by technicality, just becoming what you already are? Just like in a no. little sense, though. No. Well, if you're an actor... If you're like an actor, you're one. not a puppet. You're not an object. Yeah, yeah you're not an object. 
Yeah. <laughs> also, I want to say, just have because you... you're a celebrity doesn't mean you're an object, and suggesting that much have is kind seen... of rude. Have you seen how they treat celebrities? I'm, I'm more yeah. talking about how they treat, a lot of people treat celebrities, not well, like actually. Well, yeah, that's probably what uh, inspired the, the SVP, but that doesn't mean they're objects. I, I also love Chew's yeah. message, in all caps, my toe, my feet, after uh, Hatch <laughs> brought some toe. <laughs> I guess, I guess, wait, maybe that's why Chu doesn't come on to, uh, does, doesn't show their face. It's because they're under the effect of this SCP. And no <laughs> one doesn't want to be outed as being under the effect of this SCP. Does that I, mean he, he looks like a plush to all of us? Probably. Okay, Momo, to summarize what this SCP does, mm -hmm. basically it chooses a Hollywood actor or actresses or whatever, and just basically makes them on pictures and videos and movies and all that stuff it makes them look like either a puppet or a mannequin it doesn't even actually choose hollywood actresses it's just that this like the most notable case was of yeah. an old british actress like yeah. it's just completely random yeah it's mainly random yeah just random that's what it does that's what it does momo for like what was it four to redacted years four to October. redacted years yeah there was a lot of redacted that just was annoying <laughs> honestly yeah, there were so many redacted it felt like it was harder to write it with all those redacteds than yeah. it was without it like what's the why what like what's what's yeah i think this this uh scp definitely suffers from over redaction They honestly probably do that because it uh, pertains to celebrities. They don't want people to try to guess which celebrities are affected. Maybe. Mm. But uh, that, that, nah, that, I don't think that tracks because, like, only, like, the last bit was about a celebrity. And said oh. celebrity's a much older celebrity. Oh no, it pre predominantly involving celebrities and or public officials. So it mainly oh, okay. goes after those people. Oh, okay. I guess I had mis misread or misheard that part. So yeah, no, it definitely goes after celebrities and public officials. <laughs> Wait, I just I I just imagined it going after Ronald Reagan. Ronald uh, go Reagan's after dead. It, it goes yeah, into the past. Probably, it goes all in nineteen hundred. Probably dead as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I did you I did you see the picture and did you see the picture and uh, recording slash live streams? Uh, my internet's being really fucking shit. Yeah. Oh, bright. Pick a color. Pick a color. Uh, yeah. yellow. Are you sure? Yellow. Why are you saying oh, you good. sure? Okay, I guess I'll go with green. Well, whichever color you pick. Just make it's... sure you like it. Okay, I guess I'll go with green. Oh, Jesus Christ! Are you okay? Is someone fired a firework. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I just all of a sudden out of here, pow! Guy, I would like to say this nicely. You now live next to a military base. Why would there not be fireworks around the new year? Right. Can you actually hear it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So oh. What? So, I, I, sh what? Where should we put this? What the fuck or spoot deer? Spoot. Spoot. Make a sp make spood famous so that spood can be a puppet. What the fuck? What You're the fuck? Turning my sibling into a puppet, you weird fucking child. 
<laughs> okay, wait. Okay, I, before before we go on to the next SCP, uh, I, I I want I want to say something. No. Okay? It's oh, it's horror content in a horror context. Also, bright. I am drawing a chainsaw emoji for your server. Nice. Yippee. I figured I wanted to do things for it, so I made a, a snake head heart thing for the serpent's hand thing. Yay. I did a red one and a green one, and I am now doing your chainsaw. Yes. Oh no! If it oh no! If it if it if it was yellow, would it come out looking like a piss chainsaw? She oh. said the green. <laughs> after I asked, are you sure? So it's gonna be green. Oh well, yeah, I know, but I. I, I know, but I mean, like, hypothetically. So it's, it's It would not have looked color. like a piss chainsaw, but it would have not looked the best. I do not like the color of, like, yellow chainsaws. Piss chainsaws. Yippee. I'm hoping the fireworks aren't going through stream. <laughs> uh, One of sure. the most... I definitely can't hear those fireworks. Ah. I I occasionally hear some of it. Just like boom. It's a loud <laughs> popping sound. Yep. Um. The movie Nope is really fucking good. It's okay. a really good movie. That's why I'm late. I I was finishing watching the movie. It's really good. Okay. Going to the next SCP now. Yeah, I... yeah. Anyway, I sent the picture in a stream planning. What the? Uh, I mean, not stream planning. Recording VCs thing. Yeah. Anyway, the next SCP is SCP twenty forty three, or is or a snake name in all caps. Remember me. No. Shut up, child. Right. SCP-2043 is a 19-year-old Caucasian female bearing resemblance to a former missing person, Ariella Redacted. When an individual observing the subject looks away, SCP-2043 will create physical duplicates of themselves within the individual's line of sight. Each new instance will additionally begin to duplicate in turn at the rate of 20 to 30 seconds per duplica duplication. Duplicate instances of SCP-2043 are physical, uh, physically and genetically identical to the original. The effect is increased exponentially with the addition of more viewers, although a fixed number of viewers can minimize Chances of duplication by maintaining overlapping lines of sight. Oh, did we lose Hatchet? Mm -hmm. Uh. Will Hatchet be back? Ah, Hatch is back. The Hatchet's back the very next day. The Hatchet's back. We thought he was a gunner. I guess I'll go back to read, reading then. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Anyway. I missed all of that because my, uh, my, my Discord crashed. All right. All right, I'll reread re it then. SCP-2043 is a 19-year-old Caucasian female bearing resemblance to a former missing person, Ariella, redacted. When an individual observing the subject looks away, SCP-2043 will create physical duplicates of themselves within the individual's line of sight. 
each new instance will additionally begin to duplicate in turn at the rate of 20 to 30 seconds per duplication. Duplicate instances of SP2043 are physically and genetically identical to the original. The effect is increased exponentially with the addition of more viewers, although a fixed number of viewers can minimize chances of duplication by maintaining overlapping lines of sight. SCB-2043 is generally unresponsive to external stimuli, remaining non-responsive to all attempts at communication, as well as most attempts at physical contact. SCB-2043's awareness by physical contact appears to be uniform amongst all duplicated instances, which may result in mass panic among SCB-2043 instances and the potential for uncontrolled duplication depending on SCB-2043 instances mobility. Attempts at teaching SCB CP-2043 to communicate via touch have yielded, yielded little success. Note 19-A3 Ariello redacted went missing from redacted on redacted at age 7 before being discovered 10 years later in the cellar of a neighbor. Further details are unavailable due to an ongoing investigation. SCP-2043 was discovered 9 years following disappearance 70 kilometers away when police were, were called by an individual who claimed to have discovered Ariella redacted in her cellar. It is unknown if SCP-2043's effects were evident to the individual. The presence of multiple officers triggering, triggered the apparition of several hundred instances of SCP-2043, which led to an incident in which shots were fired and multiple instances of SCP-2043 were killed. Foundation personnel were alerted to the situation 18 hours later, necessi necessitating a temporary quarantine of the town of Redacted and a mass administration of Class B amnestics to infected individuals. Following the event and a thorough investigation, it was noted that SP-2043 bore a strong resemblance to age-progressed photographs of Ariella Redacted. The potential link to the disappearance led to a renewed investigation leading to the individual's recovery. A separate parallel investigation by Foundation agents embedded and redacted found that Ariella redacted had no knowledge of SCP-2043, nor the individual responsible for discovering SCP-2043. Miss Redacted was also noted to look substantially different from her age-progressed photo. Further details are classified pending an ongoing investigation. There you go. Fuck. That's... Why does that exist? It's just a duplicating girl. It's, it's not just a duplicating girl. It's a duplicating copy of a girl who doesn't know why it exists. Yeah. This is, uh, what the fuck? Did they say the girl's name? They, they didn't say the last name. name. The, yeah. They, they only said the last name? No, no, they didn't say the last name. They only said the first name. Last name would have been worse. Ariella. Aw, oh, damn. Because I was thinking, wait, is this like, is this supposed to be inspired about, uh, inspired yeah, by the dolly what sheep? what's inspired by a real girl is probably why they didn't put a last name. No, I said dolly the sheep because the, the people keep, or kept, like, well, people clone the sheep. I would like to say it, that doesn't sound likely to be based off of it, especially since that was a murder victim. Yeah. Only the sheep. What? The, the fuck are y'all talking about? Okay. Apparently, this SCP is not just the girl. Addendum 3 on Redacted. The bodies of two identical twin boys were discovered in Redacted. A, a bearing gunshot wounds at close range, discovered on the scene was a missing persons poster of child Lee Redacted. Containing an age progress photo depicting Lee as a teenager. 
As with SP2043, both deceased individuals bore a strong resemblance to the Age Progress photo. While Lee Redacted has yet to be found, a potential link to SP2043 cannot be conclusively established. So it does anyone who's missing, or the possibility of anyone who's missing. Oof. Which is fucked. So it's not just Ariel, it's also Lee. I, I, I just say what the I mean, it doesn't show a sign of danger. The, the biggest danger in my line of this thing would not have. And that would be in the event of it duplicating and duplicating and duplicating until literally the, like, an entire city center or something is filled to the brim mm -hmm. with these people. And even then, like, you can literally just, like, move, like, like, you can still, like, get, like, move them away. Yeah. Or as was described, shoot them. Yeah. <laughs> Cops like, immediately start shooting. <laughs> which I still think that's like the funniest thing in all of this. The fact that the cop's first reaction to duplicating girl was gunfire. Fire. <laughs> yeah. But like that doesn't seem too far off, honestly though. Yeah. What type of green would you like? Um light green, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Bright, please be specific. Do you want eye blinding uh, light green or like, you know, the pleasant looking light green? I don't, I don't know. I'll leave that. To like you. I said, okay. Oh no. I already got it. Light oh, green. No. Yeah. Anyway. Penguin, I don't oh, choose no. blinding colors. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, uh, thank fuck. You're not evil. Momo said, what the fuck? It's like the Keter classes, but it's people, which. It is actually much worse, but it can't really be contained, so I see why it's Keter. I mean, it sounds a bit they have it contained. Well, they didn't have Lee contained. They only found the dead bodies. Oh, yeah, but... They don't technically have it contained since they don't know what causes it or why it exists. All that we know they is that it instances. deals with missing children. <laughs> For some reason, out of everything. Yeah. So it should be like a certain group, because like missing children is a certain group. Uh, I don't even know if it's a danger to missing children. I wouldn't say danger to missing children, like it affects them. That's that's fair. I mean, I feel like whoever made the children missing are more dangerous to the missing children than, the, than to the SCP. Wait, the SCP just makes them be able to terrify the kidnappers. <laughs> just all of a sudden, you go in the basement, and there's like just 50 of the same child staring at them. That sounds actually very terrifying. <laughs> I would immediately let hey, go of hey. a child if they started duplicating. If look, it, look, all I'm saying is it's the consequences of your actions. You want to do some dumb illegal shit, you're going to have to get the consequences. So, where are we are, putting this? Are you this? saying the consequences of illegally taking children is duplication nightmare? <laughs> anyway, so where are we... Illegally taking children. Anyway, so... Why did you phrase it like that? <laughs> anyway. That's what it is. So, where are we putting this SCP I again? I, uh, I, can, I, I can see why it goes in certain groups, because it affects missing children, basically. But I can also see why it's put in what the yeah. fuck, because it doesn't really do any dangerous things. I feel like it belongs in what the fuck, because it doesn't endanger anyone, but it's, it's so weird. Yeah, I would say what the fuck, too. Worst okay. case scenario would be fucking send hundreds of thousands of these duplicated creature people to, to a firing mm -hmm. squad. That's about it. Wait, Bookworm, I had you, you might notice, but Bookworm says, makes me think of the telltale heart, but the duplicating child. 
Lol. I, I mean, I know Telltale Heart, but I feel like that's based upon some context I'm missing because my Discord crashed. Ah. Mo says it's the creepiest, saddest shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just realized how fucked up it would be to give the child back to their parents. All of a sudden, they just turn around, there's another one. Oh. That would be terrifying. Oh. That was... I mean, it's not the saddest SCP I've, I've read. There, there are a lot sadder ones. Like, um... The... The Water Lady. That one, yeah, the the wooden chair. Mm -hmm. Man, that poor gonna... chair. Yeah, I was just gonna say the chair. I don't know about the water. Or Scarlet King's wife. Oh, that's oh the the water lady yeah. was uh the water lady was tortured by the SCP Foundation. Well, specifically, men. It made her actually have a phobia of men in general. Uh, yeah. Before then, she was literally just a water woman that was hanging out with a kid and doing good things. She was benign. Oh. Which is why she's a lesbian. Wait, what? What, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what did I go back to? Talking about the water lady. She is technically not someone who likes men, so it would make sense if she was a lesbian, but I'm not sure why we went there. <laughs> also just the ace. I don't know who we're talking about. She is a woman made out of water. Mm -hmm. The SCP Foundation tortured her. Oh. oh. What? We're we're talking SCPs. Yeah. Penguin. Oh, I'm Keep confused. Up. Look. I got up, okay? I grabbed some chocolate and I grabbed my fake uh champagne. Okay, I, that's why I, I was. I don't. I, I turned back at a very inconvenient time. Yeah, bright. When were you planning on ending stream? At uh, two a.m. Oh yeah. Plus, now this means that you don't need to worry about disturbing anyone. Yeah. You can be oh, yeah, as loud and obnoxious. There, huh? Yeah, you can be as loud and obnoxious as you want most of the time. And the only one who's going to complain to you is your dogs. <laughs> All of a sudden, you just hear barking dogs. <laughs> <laughs> just like, the dogs sprint to the room and. No, the right? dogs sprint in the room they, and they're start like, shooting. They, yeah. uh, the dog sh sprints into the room and starts cursing you out. Right. What? what? <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Dogs Have you here. seen the time? <laughs> Go the fuck to sleep. Dogs, New Year's Revolution. Dogs. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, next the SCP. Dogs. Oh. Dragon. The dogs. Uh, bright. Your dogs. Last year, uh, New Year's Revolution <laughs> was to learn English, and so the last hour of 2022. Just the dog's gonna stare you down, speak a perfect line sentence in English, and never speak English again. Uh, the dog will just come into your room, look at you, dead in the eyes. You'll look back. It'll be a really weird moment as you stare into the eyes of your dog, and the dog will just say, Bright's a bird, and then leave the room. <laughs> the dog New will never say anything again. Mama says New Year's Revolution. <laughs> New Year's Revolution. <laughs> not Number Revolution. Nine. Number nine. Number God, nine. this kid, kid is a dipshit. <laughs> what? It, you, wait. You you said Revolution instead of Resolution. Oh, yeah, it is Resolution. <laughs> you didn't know it was re Resolution? <laughs> Did I grab the wrong champagne? Have I been drinking out of the wrong champagne bottle? No, it's Welch. It's Welch's. It's fake. It says non-alcoholic. Okay. 
It is yeah, rosé. <laughs> You're only allowed to drink alcohol in Texas, child. Wait, what? It's non-alcoholic. No, in Texas, by law, uh, parents can can give their uh, children alcohol. I think almost at any age, as long as it's within the, within the house. Uh, I am in Germany. I don't think that's how. I don't think that's how like that works. But okay. <laughs> They just still have to, like, because legally, they still have to, like, go based off of what the, um, they still have to go based off of what the, uh, uh, Constitution says. Well, the Constitution literally, the, the amendment pertaining to abolition was literally basically just says leave it up to the states yeah yeah so literally Uh, state by state thing there's even a state that says no alcohol period actually because they didn't learn their lesson from prohibition yeah i have a a fun little fact no um fuck you Nice fact. But uh, the reason that oh, most... nice, nice little fact there. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the reason that the legal drinking age in most states is 21 is because uh, the government literally threatened the states that they would cut funding for the states if they didn't uh, heed to uh, the the regulation of 21 being the drinking age. I had yeah. a history teacher. He turned 18, uh, so this was before the it the turned to 21. He turned 18 the year that that law passed in Florida. Uh, and the reason that Florida caved in is because the government threatened to cut funding on being able to fix the roads and shit. Damn. The funniest part is he had a friend who was like, uh, the so the law passed, and his friend was 17, but would turn like, right after the law passed would turn 18 and the person that just turned 18 had to wait till they were 21 while all of, all of their friends were drinking and shit because they turned uh, 18 before the law passed and thus could drink. Oh. Get fucked, loser. Should have been born a few years earlier. Or a few months earlier. That's what their penguin's saying. Yeah, that's what I meant. Born on the, like, right day and you would have been able to drink at 18. That's kind of messed up, but. Also, there's one thing I want to say. This is off topic, but before I go into SCP, I just realized that there could be an SCP that that could be used as a weapon against other people. There's a lot of SCPs. Uh, It's the Procrastination Rock. Is it a child, right? It's the Procrastination Rock. Oh. If you look at it, you will start procrastinating, just like sit on the ground, not doing anything. That's literally what it does to you. Wait, isn't okay. that the guy that I... sits on the rock okay. and is thinking? Okay, listen. Yes. No. I have a proposal for everyone. That's... Yeah. Everyone, I have a proposal mm. for everyone. Mm-hmm. We invite Kanye West, oh, Donald no. Trump, Putin, and Kim Jong-un to all sit in a room, and then we just put that rock in the room and leave them. <laughs> what's funny is nothing is... would change no, the no, no funny... that's the point they're out of the way you know, here's the thing they would actually stare at the rock saying this is a pretty good rock why are we here again oh this is a really good rock <laughs> they would constantly do that that's what it does pro- you would probably babble in the corner about something having to do with the Jews and then go oh yeah what a cool rock yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's like your, it's like your fucking, like the racist uncle says the most abhorrent shit, and will like look at the family dog and say like, it, it's it's like that, but like at least it's a rock. Yeah. And they're and stuck y- there permanently. And but will yeah, not that's turn. Yeah, that's the point. Like they they like the idea is make them procrastinate so they're not out here doing bad things. Just we'll sit them in a room. Like waging. Committing hate. 
Exactly. And going on fucking Alex Jones. Fucking Christ. No, because the Can way we put him in there too? Oh yeah, let's add Alex oh, yeah, Jones we put... as well. Were you talking and, about and Kanye also... specifically? Uh yeah, Kanye going on Alex Jones. Yeah, wearing this weird like BDSM outfit. What the fuck? Wasn't even Wait, he did? What? Just, like, yeah, like he wore like a weird ass mask. It wasn't BDSM, but it was like he was it covering was his actually, face. Uh, some of those items were identified to be used for BDSM. Really? <laughs> yeah, like the hood is specifically one that uh, the face mask is one specifically for BDSM. So were the gloves. So. Oh my god. What the fuck? Anyways, we need to call up how the dog leash on the stuffed animal was a BDSM outfit. He was actually wearing actual BDSM out items. Uh, oh dear. Also, uh, the guy <laughs> oh that went. My. Also, the guy that went on uh, Alex Jones with Kanye. We need to also put that motherfucker in there too, because that motherfucker has like. F- fuck that. Oh, guy. you mean uh. Nick you mean the Nazi? Like, no, like Nazi. the actual literal one? Yeah. Fair point, yeah. And then fucking Alex if Jones you're is on with, the table having a conversation with them. With, if you're friends with one, you pretty much are. <laughs> okay, no, wait. The saying, the saying goes, if there's one Yahtzee at the table, but there's ten other people, there are eleven Yahtzees there. No, no, like having if, a friendly conversation, not like... No, yeah, like if it's if there's one Yahtzee at the table and the and there's ten total people and the other nine aren't kicking out the Yahtzee, then there's ten Yahtzees at the table. Eyeball shoe on head. Mm-hmm. Anyway, are we ready for the next SCP? I fucking hate shoe on head. Yes. Alright, anyway. Next SCP. I Will someone pic- get this fat fuck to stop beating me up? No. Anyway, I posted a picture of it and recording live streams VC chat. So yeah. The next SCP is SCP-2047, also known as Collaboration. Oh wait, that's us. What? That's us right now. No, I'm kidding. I'm collaborating with the great Dr. Bright to bring well, you I'm absolute pretty sure fucking we nonsense. we don't look like a bunch of planets. Yeah, anyway. I am a circle. I demand the I demand the right to identify as a celestial body. I will not be well, taking no as an answer. Well, you can celestial your body as much as you want, but I'm not a planet. Well, yeah, I'm not saying you have to be a celestial body. I'm just saying that I demand to be a celestial body. Anyway. Oh, okay. I've already got the whole having gravity thing down. <laughs> what? Anyway. Do, do things float around you, Hatchet? Sometimes. Anyway, uh, SCP-2047 <laughs> is a hollow iron sphere with a 40 centimeter diameter uh, covered in language originating from Theta C. These inscriptions describe the pro- process that occurs in event 2047-A as a warning system for the target planet. The surface of SCP-2047 thus has far proved unnaturally resistant to attempts to open or cut into the cavity inside. Scans of SCP-2047's innards only reveal the basic outline for advanced machinery. Nothing is understood about how SCP-2047 functions or how it is capable and assisting in event 2047-A other than to relay a radio signal back to Theta C. Event Log 2047-A, 1973. Day 1. Uh, July 13th, 1973. At 1.01, Earth and an exoplanet designated Theta C undergo an exchange of spatial position. Earth is de- deposited in Theta C's previous solar system, while Theta C takes our spot in the old solar system. The process occurs in... S- Instantaneously, no contact contact can be established with the Lunar Minerva Project. Day 2, June 14th. 
Radio transmission is relayed through SCB-2047 at 132.57. Via a spatial anomaly and multi-locational existence, radio transmissions are initially audible and are initiated in an unknown language. Over the next 20, 12 hours, language converts into increasingly fluent English until full communications between Earth and Theta C are established. Dana C's interstellar exchange program is first described. The Foundation requests a reversal of event 2047-A. Theta C responds with denial. Day 113, November 1st. Knowledge of event 2047-A eventually spreads over the first two weeks. The Foundation has no visible method of hiding the knowledge of the cosmic shift. Religious institutions experience a peak in attendance and some reform their values to accommodate for this event, while others dissipate entirely. No knowledge of the existence of other sentient life reaches the public, as news of the loss of Minerva Project reaches the public. However, general anxiety increases. Foreign relations between major powers have become strained as the United States, Soviet Union, and China enter a space race to explore a new solar system. The Middle East experiences a nonviolent wave of protests and demonstrations in response to an upheaval of the known world and unrest within their civil governments. Containment efforts by the Foundation are beginning to become problematic due to the Foundation's use of resources are con on continued efforts to prevent societal collapse. Requests to Theta C for assistance are denied. Day 286, April 23rd, 1974. Containment of Keter level SCP objects grow increasingly difficult in strains of a majority of Foundation resources. Hostilities between nations increases as they become increasingly suspicious of one another. The United Nations becomes a strange force, not very effective in mitigating the deterioration of relations. Southeast Southeast Asia experiences a systematic political repression as China falls behind in the space race, followed by religious accusations in response to the increased volume, volume of religious activity. Requests that they to see for assistance following a presentation of the detriments to the human race is approved. Day 339, June 17th. A collaboration between Theta C and Earth is initiated in order to attempt to reverse the detriments of event 247-A. Theta C announces to the Foundation that reversal of the entire process is impossible, but suggests that a localized reality reset may be viable. Using the combination of SP-2047 and Theta C's technology, a CK-class reality restructuring scenario is created and includes a mass change to astronomical data, records, and memories revolving around the field of astronomy. This restructuring also resets the date on Earth to July 13, 1973. Foundation staff at Site 88 maintain full records relating to Earth's previous location and are excluded from the reality restructuring in order to facilitate the further suppression of knowledge. After a full debriefing of top person Foundation personnel, the residents of Theta C are informed that further collaboration with the Foundation would not be continued due to an unacceptable risk of societal collapse stemming from uncertainty relating to previous events. Post Reset Day 146, December 5th, 1973. Apollo 18 space mission to Earth's new natural satellite is launched, including on board our the personnel and materials required to produce replicas that match the vehicles left behind by Apollo 11 through 17, as well as establish a temporary lunar settlement to, to begin re-establishment re of the Foundation's lunar sites. Post reset day 156, December 15th. Foundation lunar site 190 begins construction with resupply loads arriving on weekly schedule. Post reset day 1517, June 5th, 1977. F 
Voyager 1 mission launches in order to better ascertain the details of the solar system that Earth now resides in. Minimal data was relayed from Theta C after the exchange, but further investigation is warranted as necessary. Okay, before we decide how dangerous SCP is, wasn't Apollo 18 destroyed, or was I thinking of another Apollo thing? I believe that is the one. I Oh, was the one I was destroyed? Because that was what I was thinking. Okay. I believe so. Yeah. Be correct. I am almost just put a little emoji. That's their only reaction to this SCP. Uh, so, world ending, right? No. No. This. From the sounds of it, it's already come and gone. They basically, Definitely. before this date, the solar system was completely different. We got translocated into our current solar system, and a whole bunch of restructuring had to occur globally around said thing. Okay. Oh, Hatchet, you and me were wrong. Momo said you were thinking of Apollo 13. Oh, I'm thinking of Apollo 13. Well, poop. Also, we got, we got trans? What? What? We got trans? We got... On that date? No. Just translocated? Translocated. We switched places. That's what happened. Yeah, I know. I know what, I know what it means. Do we, do we need to, do we need to have a discussion about the fact that the, the suffixes trans and cis are used all over the place in the English language? I know, I know that. I know, I know. Wait, I look at I'm looking at the picture for Theta C. But uh, I mean Theta C is in our universe while we're in, in Sol. In Sol there's no Mars. <laughs> uh, yeah, fair. So, <laughs> so where's Elon Musk Mars? gonna go to? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. What that's talking about is like Theta C is where we are now. Oh, okay. Okay, Bright, Bright, you know where Elon Musk is gonna go? You know? You wanna know? Hell. Hell. <laughs> I said it before you did, huh, bitch? Cause I can't, cause I already told the joke, you motherfucker, you dumb bitch. Hell's too good a place for Elon. The anyway. thing is, I don't wanna be in there with him. <laughs> Are you saying Elon's not allowed in hell because you want it to be a pleasant experience? Yes. Okay, that's valid. Unless I get it. <laughs> Moses is a good question. My question is, how the fuck did the SCP keep this shit hidden? That's a good question, actually, thinking about it. it. Uh, shit tons of amnestics, I guess. Yeah. Plus, like, they mentioned, like, like that... uh, plus, they mentioned, like, a temporary, uh, reality shift. CK, so what they might... yeah. Yeah, so what they might have done is use that to basically restructure things, so it's seamless. <laughs> Mo says, several hundreds of years of astro astronomical development, Britain register... Background, cultural impact, and beyond. Even constellations just gone. No fucking way. <laughs> what I think is what the SCB Foundation did was rewrite history completely. Yeah. Actually, if you if you heard that thing you read, yeah. they said they weren't able to hide it. Oh yeah, that's right. At first, they weren't able to hide it, and then they yeah, and then the yeah, and then the uh. Theta C guys mentioned uh, a temporary reality restructuring in this area that happened afterwards. So I think they used that to rework history in people's memory. Okay, that would make sense. That said, the danger of this is literally null because it's already happened. Uh, spoot tier. Yeah, I I love how it said like as soon as it happened, a bunch of people went to churches. <laughs> like, 
or religious places. <laughs> like once it happened. And it makes sense. So at first we didn't have Mars, but now we have Mars. <laughs> yeah. All right, this next SCP is going to look a little funny looking, the picture. Sir? Sir, you might want to take off your bright green face mask and gloves when you're in front of the green screen. It's offensive to aliens. I'm more <laughs> concerned with him becoming invisible, right? <laughs> Also, uh, the SCP is called SCP-2049, the Interdimensional Weather Station. As you couldn't even guess from the picture. <laughs> what a wonderful weather station this is. Oh, it's a short one. I just cut a guy's guts out. <laughs> okay. Even for SCP, this is stretching my suspicion of disbelief pretty far, lol. Oh, that's from the other SCP. Yeah. Yeah, the SCP timeline can get a little fucky. It's best not I mean, try to explain it. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but let, like, Momo, that's fair, but, like, if they had full control of a reality restructuring event, they could literally do anything. Yeah. It, like... They, they could literally, like, that's a brief moment in which they can literally completely play God. And, like, the complexity is actually, like, a lot less so than you might think, because all you really have to do is rewrite uh, anything pertaining to astronomical events which drastically cuts down the amount of stuff they have to tamper with. Yeah. And then it just comes down to reworking people's memories. Okay. So before I go to the next SCP, like talking about like playing God. All right. There's this one SCP story that I, I really find it's really interesting. Basically. Uh, all right. You know how the church broken God and 610 don't get along at well, right? They go at war yeah. with each other. Uh, news stations find uh, Church of Broken God robot and a, f a flesh mount of 610 fighting each other. <laughs> and, of course, the Foundation can't hide it because it's already been widespread. So, they eventually uh, let themselves be known. And this is this whole story activates, I think, after a CK class event happens, like restructuring or whatever, and they couldn't stop it. But um, basically, uh, once countries find out what they're doing with the D class, they're like, "All right, let's contact the GOC and have the Foundation completely murdered." Yeah, they ordered the GOC to hunt them down and kill them. Yeah, because that's... damn, that seems like a regular Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, because it's it because like when when choosing which side of like people to trust you should definitely trust the guys who traumatized a fucking chair yeah also, also uh, uh, yep. i will again say that i will again say the joke yeah. nobody literally nobody one guy i bet you can't traumatize a chair the goc bet i <laughs> I, I'm not done with the I story. I will never understand how the fuck they managed to do that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, right. Um, basically, so the GC starts doing that, and then they start taking over of uh, the control of SCPs. And you already guess how that goes. I mean, mm -hmm. all SCPs, including nine nine nine. Poor nine nine nine. Yeah, and um. And also because of what the Foundation is doing and no longer being contained anomalies, a race war happens between anomalies and non-anomalous people. <laughs> I guess you not. That happens. Huh? <laughs> okay. Right. Um. What? Oh. Huh? 
<laughs> I don't know if you would classify that as a race war, but fun. I think oh, that right. technically Let's counts as a race war. war. Yeah. Well, there is also good news within the story. 610 was fully eradicated by the Church of the Broken God because of the GOC's help. So 610 was gone. Good. But complete homicide of the SCP Foundation. <laughs> and a race war happens. <laughs> How pleasant. Yeah. On the bright side. On the bright side. Chibi, ch chibi chainsaw. Oh, oh! I, want I love it. Oh, it's a little baby, a little baby chainsaw. Anyway, shall we uh, learn about the weather station now? Sure. I don't. Know. Why did you go on that tangent? I'm confused. Because what caused that to happen was a CK event, which is just what oh, we just. Oh, Happy New Year, Bright! It's like twelve twenty-five right. where you are, right? 1025, yeah. Oh, it's 1025. Oh, it's 1025. Oh, 10. Yeah. All right, I've added the Where chainsaw do you live? emojis. Let's see how the chainsaw emoji looks. Wait, wait, wait. Jerry, where do you live? California. Like, what time zone? Not, like... Yeah. Oh. California only has one I, I... Oh, yeah, the chainsaw looks like a chainsaw. <laughs> I thought you lived in the East Coast. Anyway, I've always lived in California. I well, I I I'm do want to move to California. That's like a dream state I've always wanted to move to. Well, what weather you get depends on the area of California. Yeah. Listen, listen, right. The most important thing you could ever do with your life yeah. is go to Northern California and spend years of your life looking for some big ape guy. Out in the woods. God. Oh my god. Oh, All right. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Mama. I drink some water. Get happy. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, ready to learn about the weather station. And see how it's a creepy. <laughs> All right. SCP-2049 is a periodic anomalous weather forecast that only occurs in Manning Tree. At random intervals, a broadcast will appear on channel 43.5 Manning Tree, usually between 8 o'clock and 14 o'clock. At this time, SCP-2049-1 appears on screen and delivers a weather forecast. Typically predicting anomalous weather conditions exactly 24 hours after the broadcast terminates, the predicted weather conditions will occur over or near Manning Tree. SCP-2049-1 is a humanoid with teal skin. Other than his this quality, SCP-2049-1 appears to be a non-anomalous human male in his 40s. SCP-2049-1 delivers the forecasts that appear and Manning Tree, although it has stated that the anomalous effects of the forecast is unintentional. The following is the first ever known broadcast from SP 2049 1 recorded by a civilian from Manning Tree. SCP 2049 1. Good morning. This is. See, look, Kermis. With... What? It's X C H T L apostrophe K R N S S. How the fuck do you think I should say that? Oh, that's pronounced. Oh, I can't be right here. <laughs> that's okay. obvious. Wait, pre spell it again. Spell it again. X C H T L apostrophe K R N S S. Can you paste it in the the? Side chat yeah. We can I try and do it on the phone. Okay, question. Which is the better emote? Chibi chainsaw or screaming lantern fish? Oh, oh shit. Not lantern screaming fish. Screaming lantern fish. I gotta get rid of the three. There you go. Not lantern fish. The chainsaw's Telescope. really good, though. 
telescope fish. That's the name. I I'm not even going to Let me try see. to pronounce Dechtl that. I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> yeah, turn's going to try and say the name. Jiktel Jiktel Kurnis. Oh, that's exactly what Mo said. Jiktel Kurnis. 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 Whatever. Kurnis. <laughs> With your Monday weather report. Where that is? The heat wave that seemed to slow everyone down over the weekend has only worsened since the last forecast. Our meteorologists predict that today's temperature could climb to as high as 40 degrees Celsius by the late afternoon. Right now, the temperature seems to be around 29 degrees Celsius, and it's only the morning. However, there is a colored breeze coming in on Tuesday, which might help alleviate the heat. Unfortunately, there is no rain in the forecast for the next five days. This is bad news for all you gardening enthusiasts out there. If you don't have air conditioning, you might just be sleeping on the roof tonight. That's all for today's weather. Stay tuned for the Tuesday weather report. Why would someone sleep on the roof? If you don't have air conditioning, you might just be sleeping on the roof tonight. Yeah. Anyway, there's one last... Yeah, that's because if you don't have air conditioning, there's a chance your house would become like a hot, a hot box. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one last little paragraph. Hot boxes aren't bad, though. Yeah. This weather report was deemed as targeted at Earth, which was discovered to occur only as a rare occurrence, as most other weather reports pertain to currently unknown planets and or realities. And there you go. That's the SCP. So if the, the SCP is literally us accidentally getting it. Yeah. Huh? There's certain yeah, that's, groups. That's SCP, us accidentally getting an alien weather forecast. Yeah. Nah, just, just certain groups. That actually reminds me, there's an Easter egg in The Sims. Actually, is, no, it's Where is Easter Manning egg? Tree? Oh, okay, oh. It's both. um, Mole says 40 degrees Celsius is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I'd be sit. Well, I'd be sleeping on top of my roof too. Oh, jeez. But um, so fun fact: there's an Easter egg in The Sims 4 and in Animal Crossing where you can receive a, a alien like alien report thing uh in the an in animal crossing it's on saturdays at three thirty three in the morning an alien will show up on one of your tvs and in the sims 4 if you have a satellite you can tune in into alien television hmm. okay whatever anyway Next SCP, SCP-2055, for Dyer. Alright, SCP-2055 is a behavioral phenomenon that has been observed in redacted percent of the global population. Estimating the precise number of cases is difficult as survivors of SCP-2055 retain no memory of the phenomenon and it is likely that the majority of SCP-2055 fatalities have been miscategorized as conventional auto-homicides due to the similarity in presentation. SCP-2055 fatalities are distinguished only by the behaviors preceding death. Affected individuals will whilst alone suddenly began gathering any available nearby chairs and placing them in a row. Effective individuals have been have then been observed to talk to themselves for anywhere between a few minutes and 12 hours, moving around the room and appearing to address the empty chairs. In 94.3% of observed cases, the individuals ultimately discontinued this behavior and resumed previous activities. However, this apparent memory of the without any apparent memory of the occurrence. However, in 5.7% of the cases, the individual ended the behavior and 
auto homicide, most commonly through the application of a ligature to the neck, although exaggeration and self-poisoning have also been observed. Due to the lack of awareness of their own behavior exhibited by survivors, the only means of investigating SCP-2055 has been through random surveillance of general population via Redacted. First case was observed Redacted, 1994, and since the inclusion of Redacted and Commercial Redacted after Redacted, it has become possible to remotely observe increasing numbers of cases. No abnormalities have been identified to by either psychological examination of individuals who have survived this phenomenon or post-mortem exam examination of those who have not. However, remote recording of the phenomenon taking place has generated potentially useful insights into the nature of SB-2055. Analysis of recordings initially identified a resemblance between the behavior of affected individuals and the behavior of a defendant standing trial. However, legal experts who have re reviewed recordings of affected individuals have suggested that the process more closely resembles a legal practice of voir dire, the preliminary examination of, of prospective ju jurors to determine their su suitability to serve on a jury. And there you go. Um, I guess certain groups... This is just a weird SCP. It's just hey, start start uh fucking interviewing ghosts for the ghost jury and then occasionally off your <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, so is 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 John a, a good match for our ghost jury? I don't know what this is going to be about, but I remember getting this picture and I thought it was, it was going to be, I thought it was a joke SCP at first, but it's not. Hmm. What? That would be a Razor scooter. <laughs> well, yes, but why? SCP-2068. Chaos Pump. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Wait, what? That's its nickname. That's not even a mechanical scooter. I mean, electric hey, awesome. scooter. It's not even an electric scooter. <laughs> that's the, that's the little picture Google gave me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, its object class has been changed from Euclid to Keter, so it used hmm. to be Euclid. What? What did this razor scooter do? <laughs> anyway. SCP-2068 is a reciprocal pump manufactured by the Redacted Corporation. SCP-2068... What? The, this... The, uh, okay. That's just, <laughs> what? Why did Google give me that picture? If, if... If this does not at some point have to do with some guy... Using a razor scooter, I am going to be pissed. <laughs> or girl, or yeah. envy. I don't care. Someone better use a razor scooter, or I'm gonna fucking implode. Anyway, SCP-2068 was discovered by coalition military forces in redacted Iraq on redacted, in the possession of militia forces. After a failed re <laughs> remote disruption. A place, uh, in place foundation assets contained the device and brought the item to Site 15 due to the detection of unique electronic signatures. Upon an examination, Dr. Redacted discovered SCP 2068 contained several biological mechanisms of unknown artifice. Testing showed SCP 2068 to be housing for a biological computer as well as several other organs linked together by circulatory and nerve analogs. Circulatory. Circulatory. Through examination, experimentation, Dr. Redacted deduced its purpose was to draw in energy and resources from the environment to both make various hydro 
hydrocarbon compounds as well as to make more versions of itself. Subsequent so interviews suggest that SCV-2068 was to be placed at one of the of the depleted oil wells in the region in order to revitalize the well and and to serve as a convert source of power and revenue. However, further testing showed SCV-2068 had additional abilities, hence the need for more string guard safeguards and procedures. Wait, what? Did good, Bright? Yeah. All right. Addendum to twenty six eight dash eleven. Timeline of events leading to partial containment failure redacted. Seventeen fifty three. Two D class under security escort to, to twenty sixty eight underwent. The, Detonation while within six meters of security station three. Post mortem showed significant portions of their bodies have been converted to various explosive and incendiary compounds. 1755 redacted D class in se three separate areas began behaving aggressively, resulting in riots. Post mortem showed extensive modification to the endocrine system as well as to the limbic system, which led to the excessive burst of strength and speed without concern for self-harm. Furthermore, Redacted D-Class reanimated after apparent death several minutes later, acting as sources for chemical, explosive, and incendiary attacks against facility and personnel. 1804. Hampered by fires and Auto homicide bombings by D class. Foundation first response personnel encountered poisonous and acidic compounds sprayed out by injured, dying, and reanimated ri rioters. This reduced effectiveness of mop gear as well as caused redacted Foundation security to spontaneously combust several minutes after contact. 1810. Se security personnel from se Security Station 3 arrive on scene began to open fire on the Foundation First Response Team. Reanimation determined to be by SCP-2068 with the corpses serving as a, as ablative armor, fuel, and fac factory for reproduction. Incendiary weapons proved most effective over s standard firearms and other means. Conventional explosives served only as a means to spread SCP-2068. 1820, Foundation for forces partially restored containment on site warhead and remained armed. 2130, containment restored. Addendum 2068-12, upgrade to Keter approved. A mortarium on testing SV-2068 has been declared pending 05 approval. Neutralization denied due to possible similarities to activities in Ecuador. What appeared to have been caught... Cosmetic improvements and by uh, sucking bios by Redacted Inc. Now significant changes in the local ecology, with similarities noted in post mortem per the events of Redacted, originally due to ongoing legal battles and persuasive interference by foreign nationalists. The foundation is unable to more closely investigate this matter. So this thing started affecting people's bodies. Oh. It didn't even. It didn't even infect anyone's bodies. Well, it it's used some sweet fucking, fucking, razor scooter tricks. <laughs> <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. <laughs> I have been robbed. Of a Razor Scooter SCP. Seems like because of legalities, they can't do much about it. I don't. I don't fucking know. Right. What have I done? <laughs> you okay, Jerry? I just realized you can now put a chainsaw. On any comment. Yeah. That's how that's how emotes work. 
Yeah. You just gave Bright, Bright way too much power. <laughs> Bright can take a chainsaw Scooter. anywhere. Scooter. Oh, let's talk about scooter? politics. Let's put at chainsaws in here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, where are we thinking of putting this SCP? Penguin, that was the SCP. Oh, okay, and then I know. Uh, world ending. How would that be world ending? It hasn't shown the ability what? to do that. Okay. okay, look, if you hit a nuke's uh, ankle, then the nuke will scream so, like, much in pain, it'll explode. And what are you? That's not how that... That's not how the SCP What are you fucking talking about? What have you been smoking? <laughs> <laughs> have you actually been drinking actual... Alcohol. I'm, I I I'm reading the label. It is Welch's sparkling non-alcoholic rosé. It is not uh -huh. alcohol. Right. That your relative right. spiked it like they spiked my drink. Your, God. Your, your, oh God. Your family tried to kill um, you. Your family tried to kill yeah, you. Yeah, that's. I was, I was wondering how long it'd take before we start making antifreeze jokes and i immediately did it the, <laughs> the second the i was able to stream uh, oh my uh, god i love your this family, friends group your family <laughs> right your family was like the person that poisoned my birth giver's cat with antifreeze by putting it in the water wait i i love bookman's messages penguin is gay jesus turning fake alcohol into real alcohol Damn. Gay Jesus. <laughs> and also, and also, that's even just, if I did that's have just real normal alcohol, Jesus. No, real Jesus turned water into wine, dumbass. But also, no, if, even if I it mean, was, I'm pretty sure he could reverse going. it. <laughs> what? Anyway. I was making a reference to the joke that Jesus was gay. Yeah. Oh. Good job, Penguin. Anyway. But also, even if I was drinking something alcoholic, that would be TOS and against the, the many laws. So I wouldn't say that I was drinking something alcoholic. Knowing you, I I don't doubt you would do something that stupid. <laughs> I would not admit to drinking. I would not admit to drinking alcohol. Okay. You know, the thing uh -huh. is, I would, I would drink alcohol as a joke, but I can't. Oh god, no. Just, no. Because there's a fireball guess. in my room and I could drink it, but... Medical reasons? Because, uh, you know... Yeah, no shit! <laughs> stomach got pumped? No shit! <laughs> no, I'm asking. What do you think my response is? Is no shit, that means yes. <laughs> ah. Franklin, are you okay? <laughs> are you no. good? The answer I... is no. Are you? I am. The answer is no, and we are now concerned that they might actually be on something. I am not drunk. I can I can tell you the time right now. It is ten forty eight. Also, let uh, okay. that doesn't mean have... that you're not drunk. I have. I am so. Even drunk people can look at clocks, Penguin. Fuck, you're right. Shit. Well, okay. I am seventy. Wait, you just know that? Okay, maybe you are drunk. No, I'm not. Well, why did it take you that long to realize they can? People. Okay. Okay, also, I didn't I change. 70... I did not change my Twitch stream title. Did you change it too? Right, you can get yourself in trouble if it's something about me drinking alcohol under the age. That's actually a fair point. Drunk people wouldn't bring that up. And also, uh, I have I am oh, like seventy five percent certain I have to go back to school on Monday, this upcoming Monday, the second of the year. Ah Sucks for you. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oh that's oh. really bad. 
Okay. okay. How long is your school year? How long is your school year? It goes until like late May. Actually, I'll ask. Well, anyway. I mean, like month, like week wise. Uh, it's like in the twenties. Like twenty weeks. Oh, week wise, it's fuck? like um. Uh... Weeks of school. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, let's go on to the next SCP. Uh, uh, another jury burp. That means everyone must pay fifty bucks. What? 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 How was that rule established? <laughs> My belches don't cost money. You know what? Just because you said that, all right, everyone. Jury's belches now cost money. Yeah, you're on only burps now. They cost money. <laughs> What? Oh my god. I'm pretty sure nobody pays money to hear a guy belch. Uh, uh, don't don't fucking me. do that uh, thing. Have you ever Jerry, heard of... I have news. I would like to introduce you to a rule of 34. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, good news, good news. We go back, uh, my school goes back on Thursday. Dumbass. I had to check, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm being responsible, you bitch. Fuck you. Anyway, we're ready for the next SCP. I posted yeah. a picture of it. Can I eat that? No. Is that, how, is that how much? How much? Like, okay. Is that so? Is question. That a... When did you? When did you go to school? <laughs> uh, when did you start going to school? Like, uh. In uh, you can actually look it up during during this during the, uh in the fall. Uh, I'm actually just looking it up. I can go on my county's homepage. So I was gonna ask, is that an old timey map of uh Antarctica? I have no idea. Wait, someone just sent me yeah, money that's... on. Oh, thanks, bookworm. Is that employee calendar? That's really fucking sad. Yeah. Oh, wait, would I, do I have to download it? Now, yeah. right now, now after, uh, now after, bills, Bright will have fifteen bucks and whatever Bookworm just gave. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Bright. You need to probably alter the address that you have on your stream. Huh? Okay. Yeah. On treat stream, oh, yeah. you need to right. probably like. like Okay, I, yeah, I look change. otherwise it'll send food to your old address. Oh no, that's oh, already shit. changed. I've yeah. done that shit earlier. Oh, on Greek stream and everything? Yeah, everything's changed. I what didn't know Bright thing? moved. Dumbass. What? Wait. Okay, no, this is you all in know... an 18 plus chat. Oh yeah, that's fair. Right. Yeah. Right. Bright got poisoned and then their awesome military cousin came over, learned the situation. And Bright has now moved into the awesome military cousin's place, where Bright is oh, currently yeah. next to a military base and guarded by two ex-military or two ex-police dogs. That are Dobermans. Yes. Bright is now guarded by Dobermans. Anyway. Hell yeah. Everyone ready for the next SCP? First, I want to confirm. So if anyone uses the treat stream, it'll go to your current address. Yes. Why? Because oh, it's undergoing. Because Jerry's getting you. Because <laughs> uh, Jerry well, was Jerry, planning to saying... get you some food. Uh, Jerry, you do realize I can't eat anything with spices till tomorrow. <laughs> you unlucky bastard! What, what? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Well, well, I can't send you anything anyway because it's apparently under maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Uh, antifreeze screws over your gut a little bit. Yeah. Itty bitty bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Guys. What is this friend's group? I, I won't be able to eat normal food till 12 p.m. tomorrow. Which is funny, because that's when my brief premiere starts. <laughs> uh, perfect. Yeah, perfect timing. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to stream the YouTube premiere, though. 
Yeah, I was gonna ask, are you gonna like have us all come into the voice chat or just all watch it separate? You know what? I think it kind of would be fun to like comment on how the progress have been has gone from the first horror story to the most recent because any of guys it was heavily edited i'm not sure if anyone has seen that i have not yeah. like i went did to you, sh did you like edit the other parts of the story uh i did heavy editing with red's voice to make him look demonic i heavily edited his roar i put all the pictures from nes godzilla on screen Oh, you're talking the about the NES story. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Did you say his roar? No. Right it... said roar. Roar. Roar, roar, uh, roar. Dumbass. Okay. Dumb I know what Penguin's thinking of. Look, the I child. heard roar, okay? That's what I the heard. Child. The child should not be talking about that. Yeah. Child, don't think of those things. You're not old enough. Anyway. So Penguin, but also real quick, Pen Penguin, if uh, if you are capable, I would appreciate it if you came to that simply because I'm pretty sure you, at the very least, you have not mentioned whether or not you've actually watched the video of my story, The Changeling Sick Joke, and you had had to leave right before I read that back then. So I think it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on the story. Yeah, that's one of the ones that I reworked. Because, yeah. like, it was really bad. Mm. And then I went back and yeah. reworked it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, ready for next SCP? Mm -hmm. SCP-2070, also known as the Fangers of God. Did you just say the fingers? The finger, the fingers, Fing the fingers. fingers. Fuck you! Right. Oh my god! That's SCP you. number you... the fingers of God. Shut up! I hate all of you, except for Jerry. Jerry, right, are you? Right, are you we love sure you, you too, right? Fireball. Oh, of course you also... like me. I made you a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> also, Bright, can I say Fireball is fucking terrible. It's very bad. There's only one thing Bright's ever want, and it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like it, but anyway. Anyway. The SCP twenty seventy is a collective designation for several anomalies related to modern observational cosmology. Okay, so this SCP actually fits the picture. SCP-2070-1 is the observed tendency of the distribution of galaxies in the universe to be elongated and pointed toward our position on Earth. This tendency manifests itself as extended lines of galaxies resembling arrows. SCP-2070-1 the dash one instances are known in the astronomical community as fingers of God. Hmm? Public discussion of SP 2070-1 is to explain them as an effect of galaxies' velocities on observed red shifts on cosmological scales. SP 2070-2 it is observed formation of galaxies into coherent, recognizable Pictographs and symbols, examples of SCP-2070-2 instances include a stick figure representation of a human being, a miniature de depic depiction of the sun and its eight planets, as well as several of the larger Coupier Bell objects, and two as of yet unobserved bodies. In three instances, characters consistent with Shang Dynasty era Oracle Bone Script. Rough translations of messages include We are kings, we are special, and we are the center. Although instances of SCP-2070-2 are never perfectly formed, they are consistent with their I identified shapes to, to within observational uncertainties. At least one instance of SCP-2070-2 has been identified in each major 
galaxy cluster with suspected instances in smaller formations of galaxies pending further data collection. Public discussion of SCP-2070-2 instances is to dismiss them as random formation among meaningless noise, and only instances which could conceivably be disguised as such are to be made available to the public. SCP-2070-3 is a hinge box constructed of jade and, and an unidentified alloy measuring 1.0050 meters on each side and 0.335 meters tall. SCP-2070-3 remains locked by an unknown mechanism under normal circumstances. The top face is covered in symbols that correspond to no known language, as well as a sequence of Shang Dynasty era script, apparently describing the Hubble's expansion. Touching symbols on the outside of the box that correspond to instances of SCP-2070-2 identified and redacted galaxy cluster will open the box. The inside contains a layer of sand 4.672 centimeters deep. Drawing a symbol in the sand and closing SP-2070-3 will cause three things to happen. The box will emit a directed burst of tach tachyons, which is particles which tra travel faster than, than light and th therefore backward in time. The symbols drawn in the sand will manifest as an instance of SCP-2070-2 in a part of space along the direction of the tachyon burst. Instances of SCP-2070-1 in the surrounding region will appear and or become more pronounced. The instances of SCP-2070-2 in the redacted galaxy cluster will change to correspond to different symbols on SCP-2070-3. How SCP-2070-3 accomplishes this Retro casual reorganization is unknown at this time. Further study of the effects of targeted tachyon emission in general is currently marked as a level 6 research priority. SCP-2070-3 was unearthed during an archaeological dig in Redacted Provenance, China in the year Redacted. Its anachronistic markings led it to be stored as an anomalous object in site to to 30 vault until level 4 2070 researcher redacted identified three of the symbols as matching instances of SV 2070 2 found in the ga redacted galaxy clux cluster. Subsequent experimentation established its anomalous properties and its link to SCP 2070 1 and 2. There you go. Eat. So, it doesn't sound like this is particularly dangerous. I didn't even know things like tachyons existed. I, yeah, neither I'm, did I. I don't think it does, I'm actually. I'm fairly confident. Like, oh. if it's something, if it was described as particles that go at the speed of or that go faster than the speed of light, and they don't exist. Mm. I think I've heard of them before, actually, but... Wait, really? They don't exist because... Oh, yeah. no, it's an actual... Oh, wait, no. Tach a tachyon or a tachyonic particle is a hypothetical particle which travels faster than light. Physicists believe that the faster-than-light particles cannot exist because they are not consistent with the known laws of physics. If such particles did exist, they could be used to send signals faster than light. So, it's a theory. Yeah. Well, hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical theory. So, yeah. So, Not it is an actual real... Theory, hypothesis. Yeah, yeah hypothesis. Hypothesis. So, it's an yeah, actual real-life thing. So, it's not just SCP thing. It's a real-life thing. Well, it's <laughs> it's a hypothesis. It's not... A hypothesis is different than real life. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. It's not just stuck to the... SCP universe. Yeah, it was just, just made up for the SCP. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't completely um, made up. It's dang. Well, we learned something new today. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. So where would you put this? 
I have no fucking clue. Why are all the like SCPs this stream mainly not that dangerous? <laughs> like, wait a minute. You know what? It's something called the fingers of God. Put it in spook tier. Spook tier. Fingers of God, boot tier. Oh shit! I didn't even put the the uh, scooter if you picture had away. Up the sentence of put it in. If if you had put it, if you had said the sentence, put it into spook tier with. Where do we the put fucking, the? If you pause before saying tier, I would have laughed my ass off. Put it into the spook. Anyway, catch it. <laughs> Where did we say we put the um the scooter picture thing? <laughs> The scooter picture? Oh, that. I don't know if we ever actually categorized it. Because we got off on either. a tangent. Uh, okay, so where are we putting that SCP? I don't Food. fucking know. Well, we know but... it's dangerous. Like, it can affect people. No, we're people. not putting the dangerous thing in Spood Deer. Spood is not... dangerous. We have, put, we have put dangerous things in Spood Deer before, actually. Oh, yeah, but that doesn't deserve to be in Spood Deer. It is. It is pretty dangerous. Like it. It, caught, it went after the site and nearly took it down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck you, Bookworm. Fuck you. God. And here we see a bright engaging in impotent gamer rage. Mm, now, oh wait. Rage. Momo says now in TTRPG lingo, a finger of God. Is a storytelling tool that the DM or GM can use when the game gets out of hand, like if players are acting too crazy, etc. Um, that's interesting. It's pretty cool. No, chew. Kind of... I don't want to know what Spood. I uh, not Spood. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what Spood said. <laughs> I feel like I feel like one of my favorite. Um. Anecdotes I've heard surrounding like D and D was mm -hmm. one in which someone described how uh, a D or uh, yeah a DM was uh, receptive to the players just bullshit statements and creating just completely unbalanced bullshit magic system and then proceeded to use all of their stupidity against them such as at one point. Uh, someone like asking if he could uh, use some kind of spell that affects metal on an enemy because they're made out of carbon and or not carbon out of calcium and calcium's a metal. So then the DM later made a rust monster that rusted their bones. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm thinking? I think of playing in city. I mean, certain group makes sense, but in city. But the thing is, they're not able to stop it because of uh, political problems with countries with this SCP. So it's going to yeah. progressively get bigger and stronger. So I'm thinking city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if okay. they didn't have those political problems, it wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Thank you, America, for the destabilization of the Middle East. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. But, like, after that one, we're just constantly going, like, main, main, main SCBs we're going after tonight are not really that harmless. I mean, harmless, actually. No. Yeah. I, sorry, my mind's got fluttered for a second. But basically, yeah, they're not really that harmless. It, they just do things and that don't really hurt you. You mean they are harmless? <laughs> yeah, they are harmless. That's what I meant. They aren't really that harmless. <laughs> Shut up. My, I told you, my mind's fluttering. Damn. I think Jerry will like this one. It has a snake in it. Oh, well, in the picture. Snake. Its nickname doesn't... It, 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 it's a name. <laughs> okay, what is its name then? SCP twenty seventy five, the way of all flesh. Uh, okay, I told you it's a name. <laughs> oh, we got reclassified to Euclid. Oh, oh, well, yeah. They they changed it because it has some of the new stuff. 
So we already... Okay. Well, it has Disruption Class VLAM and Risk Class Warning. Mm. So it's probably still dangerous. I feel like the picture of someone holding a penguin, like a turkey that you're serving on uh, on Christmas, is more of a danger than whatever the fuck that ugly goddamn thing is. Trey, we haven't even spoke of it. Can we banish the child? Yes. Oh dear god, I'm gonna butcher this name. Go on. I'm gonna first put it in the Discord chat. Okay. So you know how bad <laughs> it's a Russian name. Ar Ar <laughs> anyway, no point to show me. Let me see. Oh, really. uh, Alexi Kravchuk. Alexi. Chuck. <laughs> no, Krav Shook. Alex, God. Alex Krav Okay, anyway. Alexander Hamilton. Uh, before I read, Chu said no bonk to Chu on New Year's. No bonks until after midnight. I immediately bonk to Chu. <laughs> yeah, bonk to Chu. That, that's just an indication to bonk to Chu. Yeah. <laughs> bonk to Chu all New Year's. Yeah. Anyway. No, I, I think he might like that. <laughs> anyway. SCB-2075 <laughs> is currently a 63-year-old Caucasian male formerly known as Alexei Kravchuk, a security guard employed by GRU Division P. SCP-2075 exhales a microbial pathogen capable of extreme neurological alterations. An individual infected by SCP-2075 is classified as SCP-2075-A and is considered an extension of SCP-2075. SCP-2075 is able to exert its anomalous effects regardless of distance after initial infection and will remain control indefinitely unless SCP-2075-A is destroyed. Experiments using D-Class have suggested that SCP-2075 is able to simultaneously use SCP-2075-A as it would its own body. If the primary host is destroyed, the surviving SCP-2075-A will become the acting SCP-2075, exhibiting its anomalous pathogen. SCP-2075 is unable to control more than one SCP-2075-A at a time. SCP-2075 uh, no, SCP has shown an eager willingness to communicate with Foundation personnel. SCP-2075 claims have been born in the year 1204 CE, although there exist no records in which to verify its claim. If true, then SCP-2075 is, is estimated to have been 787 years of age at time of its transfer into Foundation custody on Redacted. SCP-2075 prefers to speak in Russian, but also has revealed itself fluent in English, German, and an archaic Uralic language that does not co coincide with any modern no known variants of the Uralic language family. Subject is literate, but has made no request for any literature or writing implements. Oh, I see what it did. It hit it hid with a Euclid document. The Keter document is hidden. God damn it. I fell for it twice. There was another SCP that was just like this. God damn it. So that's probably not even the SCP. Oh for shit's sake. Alright. Containment class Keter, Disruption class Eki, Risk class Critical. Oh. So this is a completely different SCP. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. SCP-2075 is a guest consciousness currently occupying an unknown number of hosts. SCP-2075 exhales a microbial pathogen capable of extreme 
neurological alterations. These, those affected by SCB-2075 are SCB-27-A and are considered an extension of SCB-2075. SCB-2075 is able to exert its anomalous effects regardless of distance after initial infection and will maintain control indefinitely unless SCB-2075-A are destroyed. Site 66 for surveillance 2400. Three men enter containment site. They have been identified as Dr. Albert Cronenberg and security personnel Jacob D. Moore and Jonathan Lee. Dr. Albert. <laughs> Albert's back at shit. Oh. Duh. Dr. Albert. Albert arrives to demand things from SCP from this. <laughs> anyway, Dr. If Albert. Not, if you do not give me a, if you do not give me a pay increase by tomorrow, I shall be selling my organs to the GOC. Oh. You may be wondering why would I sell my organs to the GOC? Well, that's what I'm wondering as well. Why don't we find out if you don't give me my fucking pay raise? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is emotional blackmail. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's mean. Dr. Albert, you requested to speak with me. I am not at your beck and call, SB 2075. 2075. Yet you come when beckoned. Dr. Albert. <laughs> My patient with you has long Bitch. since wa waned. Speak and be quick about it. 2075. I have seen enough of this place. I will be leaving you now. Dr. Albert. Are you threatening the containment breach? 2075. I have long looked over your shoulder. Truth be told, the man you now observe in your cage could leave whenever he wished. I believe you miscalculated the sum of my parts. Tell me, if you caged the limb of an octopus, have you truly caged the octopus? This one has so many arms to spare. Dr. Albert, what is this? 2075, my containment, it never truly mattered. I have always been quite free. Turn to the right, doctor. Smile for our camera. A message is being sent. Dr. Albert, glances at security camera. 2075. And Ion held six fingers aloft, and upon their spears did the soldiers impale themselves. J Jacob, for you, they cried before to drown their tongues, and Ion, son Ion said, Now do you see? Jonathan. And Nadex wept as more did skewer themselves in Ion's name, for he had seen now, now knew the truth of his words. Dr. Albert. Security! Security! 2075. Do you see? Security Officer Lee appears to hold Dr. Cronenberg with Security Officer Moore, stabs him in the abdomen with a dagger and ceremonial desi design, weapon lighter designated an anomalous object. Security personnel were alerted when SP-2075's containment unit ruptured and Amorphous mass of flesh and bone, considerable in size, destroyed or disabled defense perimeters. Sector G was flooded with chlorine trifluoride, eliminated the biological agent. Heavy casualties were suffered, including 56 fatalities. Sector G was deemed a complete loss and currently being reconstructed. DNA found spread throughout Sector G matched that of Dr. Albert Cronenberg, presumed deceased. Investigation concluded that Jacob D. Moore and Jonathan Lee were both aspects of SCP-2075. Each ha had over 10 years of exceptional service to the Foundation. It is unknown when they were first linked to SCP-2075, but is believed to have occurred prior to joining the Foundation. Partial remains with their DNA as well as that of SCP-2075 were found within Sector G. Due to, to the true capabilities of SCP-2075, is now believed to have never been fully contained by GRU Division P or the Foundation. Discovered within Sextant G was a ring shaped object constructed of palladium weighing 2.26 kilograms with a circumference of 22 centimeters. Object is not anomalous and depicts an Ouroboros, believed to be the symbol of religious significance. 
GRU Division P personnel associated with the original containment have been sought for information about SCP-2075. All were recorded as deceased or missing. Okay, so now that SCP picture makes more sense. That I sent. Because it has the Ouroboros snake. Mm -hmm. Wait, is, is the Ouroboros a snake or a dragon? I always get confused. It's a snake, if I'm not mistaken, but there's some other depictions with it as a dragon, if I'm not okay. mistaken. So, yeah, the Keter one is definitely more dangerous mm -hmm. than the Euclid one, which was disguised. <laughs> Hmm. Hello, yes, this is Albert. My demands have not been met. I have sold my liver to the GOC. Excuse me as I go die. Thank you. I, I am still so mad that I got fooled twice <laughs> by the hidden document thing. You were a failure. So where do we put this? Because this is very dangerous. Seeing has no limits to how, like, if it infects someone, how far it can reach that person. And it didn't mention if we figured out if there's a limit to how many people it can affect. It did not say how many people it can affect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it affects it regardless of distance after initial infection and will maintain control indefinitely unless... 2075-A are destroyed. So as long as it's still connected, it's connected. Mm -hmm. Which is terrifying. I don't know what to do with that. Um... trying to think so it seems to be able to decide whether or not someone gets infected right yeah well the question is does it have the motivation to infect everyone maybe i don't know would it like to take everyone into its exclusive club maybe I mean, it did infect Albert. It just uh, killed him. <laughs> the Albert is immune to weird cycle virus. And uh, I. Apparently, in footnotes. Um. Apparently this thing, like, the, apparently there's a religion around it. It's called Bogomilism. Never heard of that. No. Uh, uh, but apparently it's been around since the 10th century. So who knows how many people it's infected. Oh, hey. Okay. So it's obviously has probably a... Speaking of how it, it talked, it obviously, it wasn't actually contained. It was just infected that was in there. Well, yeah. Um, I would... Um, I would say... Um, I don't know. This one's the hard one. <laughs> Because we don't know how many how many people infected, and how many people it could infect. Yeah. When there's a whole bunch of unknowns, like what the fuck do you do? With that? But it does make it, it. It it is a really good SCP. It's really interesting. Okay. Um. I guess the question is. Can we at all figure out what its motivations are? And if not, should we assume the worst? My assumption is probably why the way it acts is to keep spreading since it wanted out. Like the, the infecty out. 
Um, I don't know. Let me look up what disruption class Eki means. That might help yeah, us. That, that might be a good idea. Okay, Eki. High potential to disrupt the general population. Disruption is typically widespread, affecting major metropolitan areas or countries. That's what Eki means. Well then, you know what? I'd say just slap it in country. Yeah, because that definitely just helps us out with that. Now we're back to terrifying SCPs. Also, I posted the next SCP picture. Is that just... Is that just a man? With a bicycle helmet? Oh my god! I'm not reading its nickname! Why is this its nickname? Oh, just send it in Discord. Is it racist? No, it's not racist, but it's something I can't say in, on Switch. <laughs> well then. Uh, yeah, you can uh, see why. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you can see why. Okay, so nerf nerf gunning yourself can increase your nerf gun resistance yeah that there we go that's his nickname it's just without the nerf gun <laughs> like i did not expect that to be an scp nickname <laughs> it's like jesus christ what did the dude do i don't know <laughs> yeah but... what does this man have to do with this statement we're about to find out scp 2076 Description. SCP-2076 is the defined designation for an info-hazardous publicity campaign currently manifesting through folders, billboards, and local radio and television transmission in the state of Illinois. When compared to non-anomalous publicity efforts, SCP-2076 shows no visibly perceptible signs of anomalous properties in its layout, design, or distribution, and is laid out as a common low-budget marketing operation. The content of instances of SCP-2076 will invariably consist of false or incomprehensible incompre messages delivered through short sentences, highlighted in vibrant colors, and depicted in by forms of imagery representing a part of the situation or statement described by the phrase. This combination will, will be perceived by sapient beings as a part of the common incredible advertisement asset solely through means of communication and will be interpreted by legitimate by any affected affected instances any segment beings affected by the instance of sp 2076 will show continuous interest in taking part in the activities described by the info hazard while holding a constant need by to permanently introduce the, the depicted situation to one's daily activities in an orderly manner and while not being able to pr to perceive any egregious peculiarities involving one's recent behavior. Bruh. All right, let's see what the <laughs> Incident log 2076-A. The poster on the date of July 21st, redacted, active. Feeding your cardboard box with baked potatoes can increase the survival rate of the Golden Lion Hammer in? Dang. Containment measures detected an anomalous manifestation, affecting several folders being freely distributed in the 
Redacted Neighbors and Women's Association, matching the patterns of previous activity involving SCP-2076, the manifestation was initially observed by a publicity folder showcasing a large amount of cardboard boxes being carried and pushed by human beings. The captioning of the folder during this manifestation was feeding your cardboard box with baked potatoes ba baked potatoes can increase the survival of the golden lion tamarind. Following this manifestation, a significant turnover in capital stock related to packaging industries in the city of Redacted, Illinois, was registered along with a sudden increase in food chain sales of baked potatoes. A foundation library of public research conducted on the date of July 26, Redacted, revealed that two in three members of Redacted Neighbor Neighbors and Women's Association have recently acquired a relevant amount of corporate boxes with no apparent given purpose. At time of writing, no alterations in the life cycle for specimens of, of uh, the Golden Lion Tamaran was registered in the wild or foundation-operated preservation centers. Wait, back up. The SCP has preservation centers? Yeah, you didn't know that? I did not know that. That's rad. Yeah, they do. Addendum 2076-A. The following is an ex excerpt of a report elaborated by the Redacted Health Surveillance Department following a, com a complaint made up by a citizen identified as the side neighbor for Miss Addison Redacted known by the local community as the current president of the Redacted Neighbors and Women's Association. Entering the house, a foul scent identified by our on-site specialist as that of rotting vegetation was noticed by the crew. The source of the scent was then detected as several cardboard boxes positioned on the inside and at the outside of Miss Redacted's household. Inside each one of the cardboard boxes, several pieces of vegetable matter were found in an advanced stage of decomposition. Dr. Gregory Masters, Health and Surveillance Inspector. Incident Log 2076-B. On the date of December 12th, redacted, active monitoring detected a massive influx of emergency services requests reporting a shooting of department precinct. Medical evaluation as is addressed to a number of casualties as redacted human beings holding self-afflicted facial bullet wounds, a converted foundation operated inoculated response team ruled the case of an incident as a mass hysteria episode related to a con needle hazardous manifestation of, tw of 2076. And yeah, the poster said, did you know nerf gun yourself can increase your nerf gun resistance? So this SCP is just going after posters and just changing them to be really weird and fucked up and making people believe it's true. <laughs> That's what the SCP is. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I mean, it can be dangerous, but it can also not be, like with the potatoes thing. <laughs> I love I love how our two uh our our two instances that we know of are one that one time it made a whole bunch of people have rotting tomato or potatoes in their house. Two, that one time where an event occurred. Yeah. An event occurred? Those event happened? Occurred. We can't oh say God. it on Twitch. I didn't I would, uh, know. I didn't know events of, of events occurred. I would like. Okay, we need to create a gulag, and it's only for penguin. <laughs> we we need a channel, right? And every time we do something that we are proud of, instead of saying what we're proud of, we just say an event occurred. <laughs> hey, an event occurred. Hey, Chu, can you create a voice channel that that's called the Gulag that I can send Dragon anytime I want? <laughs> Why? And you can make it so they can't leave. And Chu said no. <laughs> <laughs> Chu. 
Yeah, you know your idea's stupid when Chu is against it. Oh, I mean, there's also, like, a, like, high percentage chance that Chu is just feeling lazy. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, I should ask Jay if they can do it. No, no, don't mess, don't bother Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an asshole. Anyway, so what the fuck do we do with this? It's literally... Um, it's a, a fucked up poster, that's what it is. I would say... See it, you. Um, right, you. Um, I would say certain groups. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's gonna cause anything too incredibly dangerous, but it also caused that, so, you know... I got good news. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six. We only have seven left. Nice. Hell merge. Wait, seven left for the stream, or seven left in general? In, in this tier list, and there's multiple others. So we're oh we're only God. in the third generation. Oh there's more yes. in. Yes, Penguin, we are almost done with all Peter's class SCPs. Thank fuck. There you go. That's the next SCP. That's just generic brand drugs. <laughs> so, are you saying they can't be SCPs? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just saying that those are drugs. I just saw its nickname. SCP-2077. Miracle stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. SCP-2077. Oh. For legal reasons, I would like to clarify that no one within this voice chat or in this stream condone the utilization of illicit illegal materials yeah anyway scp 2077 refers to a number of capsule and tablet pills variously advertised as um oh okay never mind a analgesic a analgesics anti-anxiety drugs Antidepressants and anticonvulsants manufactured by an unlicensed company going by the name The Stuff Industry. And, re <laughs> and represented by a logo of a crudely drawn house and a shining sun perched atop the roof. While the pills appear to function as advertised, analysis of the pills' contents show that each capsule, capsule is apparently filled with objects ground into powder and filled into capsules including glass, quartz, plant matter, volcanic ash, sugar, bone meal, and owl pellets. Owl pellets! Tablets are similarly composed by granulated matter or solid waste in a polymer coating. Capsules of SV-2077 that have that are emptied of their contents do not retain their effects when consumed. Instances of SCP-2077 first appeared in Redacted Malaysia, in which redacted kilograms of capsule and tablet pills from the stuff industry were confiscated as part of a drug bust. Analysis found no legitimate medical components within the pills, and much of the confiscated instances were destroyed by coming into Foundation custody. Further instances of SCP-2077 began to spring up throughout South Asia, India, Australia, China, and South America sporadically. Continued use of SV-2077 sees its additional effects take place over a two to four week period. During this period, portions of the individual's body, ranging from hair and skin cells to layers of sub subcutaneous tissue, began to part from the individual overnight while the body begins to regenerate lost tissue. The longer the individual remains on SP-2077, greater portions of their body begin to be replaced. 
organs and tissue matter replicated are genetically identical to the original tissue, with the exception of being f free or otherwise unaffected by the disease and or injury supposedly treated by SB2077. Subjects using SB2077 have often reported being unable to identify portions of their own body, displaying symptoms consistent with the Churchman syndrome and or audiotopangosia. Subjects often have... Oh wait, we should probably see what this is. Alright, hold on. The syndrome is a cognitive impairment typically resulting from damage to the left hemisphere of the brain. Characterized by the inability to distinguish left from right, difficulty in writing and understanding mathematics, and difficulty distinguishing the fingers on the hand. An auto one is a form of agnosia, indicating an inability to recognize or orient different parts of one's own body. Subjects often have difficulty coordinating and determining distance between objects and their own limbs due to being unable to recognize their own limbs as part of themselves. Subjects viewing themselves in a mirror tend to have less difficulty coordinating they remain, though remain unable to identify specific parts of their body, typically indicating the general area of its location. And there you go, that's the SCP. <laughs> Oh, wait, I want to rave this addendum because it does get really fucky. Uh, addendum. Extreme cases of SCP-2077 consumption can result in the individual's entire body being duplicated with the original body coming away lifeless, leaving the subject with their duplicated body. Subjects in this state suffer from severe depersonalization, often experiencing distinct changes in behavior and personality while retaining memories and life experiences. Experiences. One subject claimed that use of SCP-2077 has killed them, and in the effect created a perfect living copy of themselves. In at least three documented cases, subjects have described feeling as if they are 